Have you ever sat down on the toilet to relieve yourself and thought, ew, what's that smell? You might have thought it was the faint yet unpleasant odor of the bathroom, only to realize it was actually the smell of your own urine. Typically, urine has a pretty mild odor, but there are multiple things that can make it smell stronger than usual. Most of these things are harmless, but in some cases, smelly urine can actually be an indicator that something more serious is going on. Here are nine causes of smelly urine and what you can do to fix it. Cause number one, dehydration. Not drinking enough water is the top cause of smelly urine. To break it down, urine is a combination of water and waste products. There's more waste products than water in it, which can lead to that unpleasant odor. The color of your urine can determine whether or not you're hydrated. If it's amber, honey-colored, or even a dark orange, you probably need to up your water intake. But if it's a pale or transparent yellow color, then that's a good sign you're well hydrated meaning your urine might be smelly for another reason. Cause number two, eating certain foods. We all know asparagus is infamous for making our pee smell bad, but if it doesn't give it a funky odor, that's also normal. Sonia Dutta, a urogynecologist, explains. So when our bodies digest asparagus, they actually create a really pungent compound called asparagusic acid. And this compound, this metabolite, is actually really, really high in sulfur, which can really make a strange odor to the urine. They think that up to 50% of people probably have this strange urine smell after eating asparagus. But there are two theories with regard to why a person can have this smelly urine. One side of the argument is that some people make the enzyme to break down asparagus while others don't. So the people that don't have that enzyme, they're not gonna have the smell of urine. The other theory is that it's in our noses. So some people have the ability to smell that kind of pungent odor while others don't. So urine is like this byproduct of our body, right? It's, our, it's one of the ways that we get rid of things that we don't need. So urine in general actually has a, a smell to it and that's because of the ammonia content. So say you're dehydrated, there's gonna be a higher amount of ammonia, so that's gonna make you feel like you have a smell to your urine. Foods that are high in vitamin B6 can actually make you have a weird smell, so that's like salmon, turkey, chicken can do it. Even onion, garlic, they actually have a byproduct that we digest and that can give you to have, make you have a funky smell. People even think broccoli, so these, those green leafy vegetables, that they have a chemical that breaks down that can make you have a weird bitter odor to your urine too. If you're not fond of the odor, drinking plenty of water when eating these kinds of foods will help dilute your urine to reduce the stench. Cause number three, drinking coffee. Sorry to break this to coffee lovers, but your daily cup of joe could be the reason your urine stinks. Coffee metabolites, or the byproducts from coffee when broken down in your body, can make urine smell. Coffee is a diuretic, meaning it makes you pee a lot, flushing extra fluid and sodium from your body. Diuretics can also cause dehydration, so in addition to the smell from those coffee metabolites, your urine might have a stench because it's more concentrated than usual. However, this isn't the case for everyone. If you've never noticed an odor after your morning brew, then you're probably in the clear. Cause number four, urinary tract infections. A UTI occurs when bacteria gets into the urinary system through the urethra. Bacteria can certainly make your pee smell bad, but if you have a UTI, chances are you'll have more than just smelly urine. Symptoms include having to go to the bathroom more frequently, feeling a burning sensation when peeing, and your urine looking cloudy or even bloody. If you have a UTI, talk to your doctor and treat it ASAP. Cause number five, yeast infections. It might sound gross, but yeast are microorganisms that naturally live on various parts of our bodies. If yeast grow out of control, they can trigger an infection. Yeast infections can happen anywhere on the body, including the mouth, lips, and genitals. So yeast infections in women are due to a fungus. Typically it's called Canada albicans. However, there's a lot of different forms of Canada that can cause um, yeast infections. The urine smell that's associated with a yeast infection isn't the urine. It's actually the urine mixing with the discharge in your vagina. Because everything is in such close proximity, right? The, the urethra, the opening is right at the top of the vagina, so inevitably some of that discharge is gonna mix with the urine and then make you have a smell. Cause number six, 
sexually transmitted infections. STIs like chlamydia, trichomoniasis, and gonorrhea commonly cause inflammation of the urethra, also known as urethritis. So urethritis is actually the medical term for inflammation in your urethra. So the urethra is the tube that carries urine from your bladder um, to the outside world. So some sexually transmitted infections can actually cause a urethritis, an inflammation in the urethra. And if that's there, if your urethra is inflamed, the urine as it passes through, passes through it's going to cause the smell. Either way, see your doctor as soon as possible if you think you have an STI and they'll help determine how to properly treat it. Cause number seven, kidney stones. Anyone who's had kidney stones knows how painful they can be. Kidney stones develop when salt and other minerals found in urine stick together and form into stone-like deposits. The size of these deposits can be as small as grains of sand or even as large as full chunks of gravel. Yikes. The stones can collect bacteria, which can then lead to infection and sometimes bleeding, changing the smell of urine. Other symptoms can include back, side, or groin pain, nausea, vomiting, bloody urine, frequent urination, pain while urinating, or even a fever. Stones usually pass in urine without any need for treatment, but seeking medical attention is a must if you have severe pain or show signs of an infection. Cause number eight, diabetes. Believe it or not, diabetes can also make pee smell. That's because of all of the sugar spilling out into the urine. Diabetics can't process sugar the same way most people can, meaning there's extra glucose in their blood. Their bodies try to get rid of all that excess sugar in urine, which can give it a sweet or fruity smell. People who have undiagnosed or uncontrolled diabetes will also have an increased urge and frequency to pee, as sugar irritates the bladder. Cause number nine, vitamins. If you're someone who takes vitamins, there's no need to fear. Just like how different foods make urine smell, vitamins can do the same thing. Your body gets rid of the nutrients you don't need through peeing. Vitamins tend to give you extra of what your body really needs, so you'll often end up peeing some of that out. The bottom line, don't panic if your pee smells bad. Smelly urine alone isn't typically a cause for major concern, and that won't be the only indicator that something more serious is going on that might need medical attention. 